Yes, I do. Hell yeah. All right. Welcome, everybody. My name is Svar. Today we are playing Door Kickers 2. Like I said in my stream already, this is the sequel to Door Kickers 1, a very awesome tactical shooter game played from a top-down perspective, kind of isometric. It's a strategy game. Think like the planning phase from Rainbow Six, like the original Rainbow Six games, but the entire game is like the planning phase. You can technically play it live too, and like move your guy, tell him where to face as you go and improvise. But the primary way of play, the best way to get the best results is to pre-plan your routes. So I'm in the tutorial right now, basically like the first level, and it's trying to teach me some of the basics. So as you can see, you can select your dude and tell him where to go by drawing a line. And once you hit this, he'll go. And they all, they'll automatically fire, but you want to make sure that they're facing the right way. And to do that, you right click, boom, their gun's facing the right way. Now if you want them to stay looking that correct way, you hold left control, hold right click, and then that way, no matter where he moves, like here, we'll do it this way. So no matter what happens, he's going to be looking down towards the enemies with the blue arrow. Alright, so now he's kind of like covering the entryway. Now we're going to tell this guy to have his gun up and take this corner. Make sure there's no tangos on that side. Get him to maybe cover that way. I'm not obviously doing this like well. This is actually my very first time playing, first mission and everything. So we'll go ahead, breach the room. Try to make sure our gun is up. Whoa. Okay, so as you saw there, we had an enemy around this area. I guess you can't see my mouse, but an enemy around this area. And we had to take him out as he was running away. Uh, I probably could have done that better. I don't think I had this guy's gun aimed, like, super well, but it worked out. There's also, as you can see here, go codes and flashbang options. You can actually tell them to crouch now. That's new. You can tell them to reload their weapon, change their secondary. You can also use a spy camera. You know what's cool though? Looks like you can use your spy camera anywhere, so you don't necessarily have to be at a door anymore. Interesting. So I could theoretically spy camera here, right? And get this corner. That is so cool. So in the first game, you couldn't do that. You'd have to be at like a doorway. All right, let's, uh, let's take this baddie out. This guy should be opening fire on this enemy, but for some reason he hesitated, took a shot. There is a skill tree in this game. I don't think I have any of the skills unlocked, so everybody's like a rookie essentially. So they might be a little rusty. There is a rank by their name, and I think that rank will go up as you play the game and unlock stuff. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and get in here. Now that was probably not a wise idea to move this guy in, because he still didn't have his gun up. But it's okay, we're, we're learning. So maybe to take this room, since it's really big and there's a lot of unknowns here. Um, let's throw a flashbang in. Let's get it as deep into one of these corners as we can. Alright, he'll, he'll do the flash and we'll clear with this guy. How's that sound? Alright, flash is out, we'll look at the pop. I'm gonna try to get them to cover both ways here. Alright. This is bad. <laughs> I'm already messing this up terribly. This guy probably just needs to stop and fire, but I don't really know how to do that in this game. Maybe I should tell him to crouch. That might help. Nope. Okay, he is dead. I have screwed up. This is definitely already a lot harder than the first game. <laughs> Got one, now turn the target on him. Boom, he's down. Now, let me show you what this is like. If it's if it's live, like you normally can press space and pause in between actions you want to take. But if I press space again, I can actually just go into real time. And I can just play this like real time. Like I can just take this corner. It's probably not wise to do this, but you can do it. And that's, what's that's what's so cool about door kickers is if you play like online co-op, you guys can plan out stuff together. But if things go haywire, you can always just take over direct control of your unit and finish the mission. Alright, first level of Door Kickers 2 down. 
two out of three stars. Definitely could have done better. We lost a man, but we did it in 50 seconds. So I'd say, all in all, that was a success. All right, let's do the second mission. Picking doors. All right. That animation's really sick, by the way. That's it's looking good. Let's uh, let's give it a go here. We've got our two guys up here in the top, in the starting zone. I take it we're gonna have to uh, extract a hostage or something. We've also got a sniper support button here at the bottom left. My icon's kind of blocking it. My bad. But essentially, if we press the S key, we have a sniper who has a pre-aim through a window. So you can see this big red laser line on the right of the screen. Basically, he can see through these windows into this hallway. So if I want to, I could initiate with the sniper opening up instead of having my guys kick in the door. Um, the commands are a little different, obviously, uh, than I'm used to. Normally, hold on, let's just see, will he auto-kick the door from there? No, okay, this is just saying that you are in a breaching position. Maybe we'll do this. Let's slap a uh, breaching charge on. And then while he's doing that, get the sniper to focus on the guy on the wall instead of him. Because the breaching charge might get this guy. Alright, breaching charge should be primed. Yep, we can hit blow up. Maybe that's the cone of damage. I don't know if it's actually going to hit this guy. But we can go for it. So we'll hit the charge and then hit S to snipe. Alright, guy's down. Got another guy in the corner here, or in the back of the hallway. He's gonna probably try to make it into this uh, room. And then we've got this guy running away into this kitchen area. So what we need to do is probably just post up here, get a shot on this guy. Okay, uh, in the other game, you could tell your guy like, hey, stop and engage. Not sure if that's a thing here. So I hope he engages. All right, so you got both of them but he did take a shot, but all is not lost. It looks like we're pretty much clear to enter the hallway, possibly? Our sniper doesn't see the guy at the end, so we need to be kind of careful about how we take this. My thought process is get this guy on this corner and then maybe pop him out. Oops, I need to Oh, we can have the sniper do coverage now. That's new. Hey, what's up, Adam? Yeah, so we'll have the sniper cover the end of the hallway as best as he can. We'll have you come out watching, like, the whole time, hopefully. Like, watching that direction. And then he can pop here. No, there used to be... Oh, here it is. Wait for clear. So he won't move up the hallway until he sees that all enemies are dead. And then we'll have him stack up this door. Maybe watching that direction. We'll have our second guy come down here through the kitchen area and spike him this door. Alright, enemy in the hallways down, spike him empty so we can breach this pretty safely here. I just heard something open. Let's back him up, keep him facing down the hall just in case. Alright, uh, maybe we should stack... no, here's something. And then... Probably should spy cam this door as well, just in case. Got two enemies, holy crap. There's one like right in the door here too. Don't think we have any grenades of it. Flashbangs? So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I think we're gonna put a charge on this if we can. Do we have any more? Yes, okay, we'll put a door charge on here and then we'll have him do a door charge on this door. So then we can double breach. Ah, oh, so I got a streach for the reward. Ah, oh, the points go. Ah, oh, there we go. Feels much better. All right, so let's do this. I don't know if there's a key that you can press to blow both charges at the same time or how this works, but there we go, two. And then infiltrate. Hell yeah, that was clean. That was real clean. That's what we need to see more of. Alright, we can get him to do this. We're gonna need to check and make sure at all times this room is getting cleared out properly. 
All right, we got somebody else at the end of the hallway here. So what we're gonna do is keep him on Overwatch. Have our second guy prep a flashbang, maybe? Try to get as far into the room as we can. And then we'll have him move in. Once it pops, there we go. All right, that looks like our hostage. No, we have one last thing we need to do. We need to make sure this bathroom is clear. Oh, okay, I didn't even notice that, but where, like, right behind our VIP guy, there was a, a terrorist hiding in that, like, closet area? Damn, that was actually really, really lucky that we had our guy pre-facing that corner. It looks like in Door Kickers 2, you really need to pay attention to, like, every room. Because sometimes some crazy shit like that's going to happen. I was expecting this bathroom to have somebody, not the closet. I actually didn't even realize that there was a closet there. Alright, so we should be safe, though. Everybody should be dead. So now we just got to get our uh, VIP secured. Arrest them. Hands behind your back! Primary target secured. Boom. Mission done. Woods, or wood doors are easy. That's the mission name. We have three starred it. First try, three stars. Very nice. Now, as you guys know, or don't know, Door Kickers 2 is in early access on Steam. It just came out today, on election day. <laughs> kind of funny. And, uh, like, because it's early access, I'm sure there's a lot of content that still needs to be added to it and all that good stuff. But as it is right now, it's, it's like Door Kickers 1, but better. So, check it out. Thanks for watching.